On September 8, 2011, the reigning Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers were challenging the previous Super Bowl champions in the New Orleans Saints in an opening kickoff matchup. It all started with a 7-yard Aaron Rodgers touchdown pass to Greg Jennings to kick it off at 7-0. Rodgers was continuing his dominance by throwing a 3-yard touchdown pass, this time to Jordy Nelson, to put the Packers up by two touchdowns. Drew Brees decided to get into the action by throwing a 31-yard beauty to Robert Meacham to make it 14-7 Green Bay. However, Aaron Rodgers was continuing the sling bullets as he threw a 32-yard gem to rookie Randall Cobb, who became the first player born in 1990 to score a touchdown. The Saints were looking to claw back in this game after a 30-yarder by John Casey and a former Ladanian Tomlinson backup in Darren Sproles returning a punt back for 72 yards for a Saints touchdown to give New Orleans a four-point deficit. Though momentum for the Saints did not last, however, as the Packers running back James Starks rumbled 17 yards for the score to make it 28-17 Cheeseheads. After the New Orleans Saints kicked another field goal, the Green Bay Packers responded back with Randall Cobb showing why he was worth the price of admission, scoring an 108-yard touchdown in his first game, giving Green Bay a two-score lead. Man, what can't this kid do? Breeze continued to stay in the game by throwing a 29-yard work of art to Devery Henderson to make it 35 to 27 pack. However, title town didn't let up as the big man John Goon scored a one yarder to make it 42 to 27 Green Bay. The Saints kept marching in the end, however, as Breeze threw a five yarder to second year man Jimmy Graham to make it 42 to 34. New Orleans was able to get possession of the ball back and drive it down the field, leading to a pass interference call against A.J. Hawk to make the game rely on one last play with no time on the clock. However, the Saints could not march into pay dirt as former Heisman Mark Ingram was stuffed by the green and gold, who won the game by the final score of 42-34. 2011 was an historic season for quarterbacks, especially the two that played in this game, with Aaron Rodgers having a 15-1 season in the 2011 MVP award, while Drew Brees broke Dan Marino's single-season passing yards record with 5,476, a record that stood for 27 years, and a record that was broken two years later by Peyton Manning. This has been another Turnback Time, brought to you by yours truly.